Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayla. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, I was actually in the process of making some of these little journal charms and I thought, well, why am I not showing y'all how to make this? So um, I'm gonna show y'all how to make these journal charms and I'll kind of hold them up so you can see here. So they are just a, I'm trying to get good light. Um, so they do have just a little clasp. This one's a cute kind of heart um, clasp right here. Just open so it can hook onto something. Um, and then I just put some little kind of trim on it. Um, this is actually a paper clip and I wrapped it in, this is seam binding, but you could do fabric, um, you could do ribbon, I mean, all kinds of things. So I wrapped it in that. You could probably even do paper. And then I just put some little accents on it just to make it super cute. And then at the bottom here, I put a jump ring and I had a key that I put a little uh, bow on. So it kind of goes with that. Super, super cute. They're not super heavy either. And of course you could decorate these as much as you wanted. Um, so this one, same thing, cute little clasp. And it has uh, some lace on it. Um, I did again, do it in seam binding. Um, and then, uh, it has just a random little book. I think it said patterns, but it has just a random little book page on it. Just kind of like a collage I did. And then I put a little bee charm, which is so, so cute. Um, this one right here is really, really pretty. Um, so basically it's just, it's an, again, seam binding. Um, and then I actually put a postage stamp and a little gem on it. And we have a little fan down here and again, just some trim. And then I think this one's really neat. It's kind of funky, um, but this one says Bon Voyage on it. And it actually has an adorable little parrot, which is just really, really cute. Um, trying to make sure y'all can get a good look at it. And then last but not least, um, same thing, just some trim. We have the seam binding and I did yet again another little collage and I put this really neat face. Um, this was actually an old earring of mine. I couldn't find the matching one. Um, I guess it got lost or something. So I turned it into a charm. So that, that uh, those are what I was working on. Um, I did kind of want to make some different ones. So I'll kind of show you the process um, on how to do it. It's super easy. Um, you will need so let me go down the list here. I'll try and go slowly. So you'll need some sort of glue for fabric. Um, this works great for me. Uh, it's Beacon 3-in-1 glue. Um, it's kind of like a, a clear silicone glue. Um, you will need fabric, um, fabric or trim, um, or, you know, like this is like, I guess, a ribbon. This could be trim, I guess. Um, but something that you can wrap your paper clip around and then speaking of paper clips, you will need paper clips. I recommend using a larger size paper clip. Um, this one is, I guess, almost two inches paper clip <laughs> long, um, but it's just kind of your standard big paper clip. That's that's what I use. Um, it bonus point if you have different colors and things, because you can definitely do more. I feel like with the accents, but. Um, and then this is optional, but some lace if you want to add it kind of at the end or some trim, just something decorative. I just chose a neutral color because that will go with anything. Um, you will need some sort of pliers, like needle nose pliers or jewelry pliers. I have these two pair. They are very old, very worn. I could not tell you where they're from. Probably from my mom. She probably gave these to me. I don't do a lot of jewelry stuff, so... I have those, but I don't need anything else. Um, okay, and then here, this is just miscellaneous stuff that I put in here. So I have some small things like some stamps. Um, I have some buttons in here. I also have little cutouts as well. I thought maybe we could use. Um, and then I have these little hearts that say love on them. They're wood. Um, and then on this side is kind of like the charms. I don't have a ton of charms. I just picked out some that I thought might work with whatever we decide to do. Um, but I have, you know, a super sparkly charm. Um, I have like a little cactus. I even have bigger charms. Like this one is a bottle cap charm, but it has a little octopus in it. I thought 
you know, who knows, maybe it'll tie into something. So I just have some charms there that we can hang from the bottom. Um, and ideally, if you're doing a charm, you want to make sure it has a hole. This one already has a jump ring on it, but um, something just that has a hole. So that way we can hang it easily. And then for kind of like the whole uh, hard wire of it, um, I have, so I have these, these are just some kind of clasps, you know, things that you can, um, I ran out of my heart ones, but things that you can use to clip on. Um, so I have those. And then I actually pulled out my toggles as well. Um, I thought maybe I could use these like just like this. It wouldn't open, but you know, you could always tie it to something. I don't know. That was a thought. I was like, maybe I could get away with this somehow. I don't know. So we'll see if I end up using those. I just pulled them out. And then last but not least, um, you will need some jump rings. These are just the three sizes I had. I don't really keep a huge jewelry making collection since that's not really my thing but occasionally you need it, so I have those. Um, and then I have regular scissors, and then these are my pinking shears, um, since we're working with fabric. You definitely don't need pinking shears, but they're just nice to have. So let's get started, let's get into it, because it's really fun. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down a little more, just so you can see, because we're gonna be doing small things today. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Okay. So um, this is the paper clip, just a regular paper clip. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna wrap it in some fabric. You do not need a lot of fabric because it's a very small area we're wrapping. Um, I actually just cut a piece of this and that was perfect. Um, so I might do that again, but I don't really wanna make this one because I was in the process of finishing this one which is really cute. Sorry about my nails, I don't have them done. <laughs> um, but it's super, super cute. But um, I, while I was doing this, I was like, I really should be showing y'all. So um, we are gonna do a different one, but I'm gonna use this as a guide of how big to cut. Oh, sorry, I have some sleeves. It's really cold here um, right now. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna wear this, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna cut just kind of where this square is so I know how much um, fabric I need. And I'll tell you, let me just cut this here. But I will definitely tell you uh, what, how long this is. So, and you'll see I do cut a little bit of a thicker strip. Um, so I cut a little bit of a thicker strip just so I can cover more surface area. But this strip, let me measure it, is going to be, I would say, three and three-fourths of an inch. Or, I'm sorry, two and three-fourths of an inch. So it is 2.75 inches long. You could just do it to three, make it even for yourself. That's just what I cut. So we'll just say three. So there we go. We have a super, super small strip. So now it doesn't really matter which orientation um, you choose for your top and your bottom because it's going to be covered up, so it doesn't matter. Um, so let's go ahead. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue the end. So let me show you. We'll just go this way. Okay. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. You don't want to put too much because then you'll be able to see through. Most of the time we'll be covering it with embellishments anyways, but just try and minimize that. But I'm just going to put some glue at the end right here. And then I'm just going to fold it over. And it doesn't have to fold all the way over. I'm just going to fold it over um, to kind of start my, um, you know, wrapping around. So let me go ahead and put some glue on here. Okay, and this, since we're doing small work, it might get a little tricky. I'm gonna do my best to show you every step though. So just putting a tiny bit of glue, that's probably too much, but putting a tiny bit of glue and I'm gonna leave a little bit at the top here because obviously we gotta put our charms and things on, but all I'm gonna do is 
fold this over, okay, and press, and we'll hold it for a second. So all I did is folded, I, I just folded it up over the first one, not even the second one. So just so it gets to that inside loop there. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just gonna start wrapping it. So we'll turn once, and then we're gonna flip this way, but when we flip this way, to keep it from unraveling, um, you know, in the middle here, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of glue right there. So, You'll see what I mean, just a tiny little bit of glue, okay? Ooh. And then take it and wrap it and just kind of push it down. There you go. And you might get, see, there's like a little dot right there that is from the glue. But like I said, we're gonna cover it anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now that we've wrapped it, we're gonna flip over here and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna take it and wrap it again, okay? So we're wrapping it. And as we're doing it, we're kind of just moving down each time. So, so we have it right here. So now we're just gonna add an angle, go like that and wrap it around again. And at the end here, I just like to make sure that this little piece is covered, that little metal piece. So since we know that this is gonna be the end, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here at the very edge. Sorry if you hear my dog. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I'm just going to take it and pull it. You kind of want to pull it a little bit, give it a little stretch, and then just wrap it. And I would just hold that down for a second. Give that a good hold there. Okay, perfect. So now we have that. Ooh. So now we have this beautiful little paper clip. Isn't that cute just the way it is? I think it is. Okay. So now we can take this and we can decorate it. So let's see, um, I did forget to mention, so you know, I had the stamps. I'll zoom y'all out just a little bit here. So I had the stamps, I have the buttons, um, but I also grabbed some little work basket. These are like little magazines, but I find that I can find little pictures in here that are neat. Um, you know, let me, let me just see what I can find. see the little, lady right here. I mean, those are really cute to cut out and those are small enough. You really want small pieces. Um, so I grabbed a few of the work basket books that I have and just, I went through my scraps. So I found a few scraps that I can maybe use for words. And then I also grabbed, um, my Tim Holtz. These are the little snippets, I believe. Um, but they're just stickers with words on them. And then I did forget to show you these. These are just some gems. We might use them, we might not, but I grabbed those just in case. So just look for small things. Um, when you're looking to build these, look in your craft room first, um, and then just kind of gather them all around to make something. Okay, so we have that right there. And so now um, what I'm gonna do is decorate it. And I actually have this really cute little Bambi stamp. I don't know if it's Bambi, but kind of looks like Bambi. I'm going to cut it down and see if we can make it fit. I think I'm going to actually cut off the white part. We'll see how it looks. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I cut this down. It does look kind of cute still. So I think we could put this like right in the middle. I think that would actually look kind of cute. Just like that. Oh, can y'all see? Hopefully y'all can see. But just in the middle. So I'm just gonna put some glue down and then we're gonna, ooh, sorry, there's a hair. Hair's everywhere, always. So just a little glue. Don't need a ton. And then, 
this. Put it right on there. Okay. And I'll push down just a little bit. Very cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. But I think we're not done. As y'all probably already could have guessed, I think maybe we should do a little heart. I think that would be cute. So let's get the hearts out here. And I think maybe, I can't tell if I want to do green or blue. I kind of like the blue color. So let's go with that. And these are pretty sticky. I am gonna use just a little of this glue because it'll probably be partially on the fabric. Okay. I don't know why I enjoy making little things more. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, look at how cute that is. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we'll let this one dry for a second before we do the rest of it. Um, and let's make another one. So we'll set, we'll set her off to the side. And then let's grab another paper clip. Okay, so we got another one. And I grabbed just a few fabrics over here, but let's try it with this purple trim. I don't know if this is considered ribbon or trim. I'm not, I'm unsure. What is the difference? So for the trim, this is gonna be a little different because of how skinny it is. Um, so I won't be able to do the kind of staggering thing as much, but we're gonna go around the same, same way. So basically we're gonna go over one side let me just do it the correct way, Shayla. Um, okay, there you go, you can see. So we're just gonna go over one side and glue right here. So that way we can start wrapping. So we're just gonna put our glue at the end here. Okay, remember don't go too glue heavy because you will have a lot of bleed through. And you'll probably have bleed through anyways, but just try and you know obviously minimize it. So all I'm gonna do is, um, here, we'll start this way. And I'm just gonna take it and wrap it around and then just squeeze it down. Oh, okay. Probably have to squeeze it for a second. And basically you're just creating a little loop. That's kind of what I did there. Okay, so we're good. So now we're gonna wrap it around. And since this fabric or trim isn't as wide as the fabric was, see how I was able to do a little bit of angling, but I can't do too much because then I start exposing the paper clip. So just a little at a time. And remember wrap once, and then when you flip it around, We'll put just a little tiny, sorry, dab of glue. I'm, trying, I'm looking at myself and not um, what I'm doing. So that would probably help Shayla. Okay, so we just put a little tiny dab of glue. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second. And then we're gonna wrap again. So just like that. And then when we wrap again, we'll put another daub of glue. So basically you're just wrapping. And then when you wrap, you put just a little bit of glue on the other side. So wrap again. Okay, hold that there for just a second. And then we're gonna do the same thing and wrap again. So if you can see where I'm putting the glue, it's just right here, kind of at the edge. 
but that just makes sure it doesn't unravel in the middle. Um, cause if you don't pull it tight enough, sometimes it'll do that if you don't glue it. So it's just a little extra assurance that it'll stay together. Okay. So we'll hold that. And then Jack, quit it, bud. Sorry. My dog is, it's the after dinner. He's licking his lips. So. I was like, be quiet, dude. Okay, so let's keep on going. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing and we're wrapping. Like I said, you might see a little bleed through. That is okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're almost there. Looks like we have like maybe one more wrap left. Maybe one more. Okay, so I think we can cut it. So I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, you can't even see, I'm sorry. I am just gonna cut it right at the edge here. Perfect. And then we're gonna do one more glue. Basically, it's just wrap and glue, wrap and glue. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna put some glue on the end here because we're sealing it. Okay, there we go. So then you just hold it, you can't even see. Holding it. Okay, sorry, there was a long pause there, but I was trying to make sure it's like on there. Okay, so now we have that one that we just wrapped. Super, super cute. So let's decorate that one and then we'll go back and finish the other one off. Um, okay, so I think for this little cute purple one, uh, maybe, let's see. I have this little heart right here. It's wooden, which is kind of cool, but let me see. I could also do something different. Oh, I did a stamp last time, so don't do stamps. Um, let's do, where were those little, oh, you know what? I have this really old piece of book page. Sorry, I promise I'm coming back. Um, I have this really old piece of book page. Let me zoom out on you. Um, it's actually from a book, well, obviously it's from a dictionary, <laughs> um, but it's from a dictionary from like the 1800s. Very, very old. Um, let's see. And someone was kind enough to give it to me from, um, from like, uh, you know, like one of those community apps. And this one has just a cute little flower image. So I'm going to see if I can kind of rip it out. This paper is so, so brittle. It's insane. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I ripped that out. Now I'm thinking maybe, okay, so it's gonna cover the whole thing. So let's try and cut it out maybe. All right, so, oh, okay, so here we go. Little, little tiny image, super cute though. I almost wanna like put some ink on it. Maybe we will. Why not? Let's see if I can ink this without ripping it. Oh, sorry, if you're moving around. Very, very gently. Okay, maybe this will work. is some delicate work. Okay. 
Mm. Oh, oh. Very, very gently. <laughs> we almost lost it. Okay. Oh no, no, it's starting to rip. Look at that. <laughs> well, let's see if we can glue it on. Let's see how far we get. Be oh, nope, it, it ripped. Dang it. Well, that's the way it goes when you're working with old paper. So, oh no, <laughs> it just keeps ripping. Look at it. Now it's like kind of a flower. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm I'm determined to use you though, so we're still going to do it. There we go. <laughs> What's left of our flower? <laughs> oh lord. So funny. Okay. I got the glue on there. Now let's very here. So let's glue, let's glue her on there. Just right in the middle, don't touch it. There we go. Looking good. Okay, so there we go. Not bad, definitely needs something though because we lost our little thing that said pink on it that I thought was super cute. Um, I could use a little word. So I have these words, but I don't know if I'll have anything small enough. I could do like the 175 right there. Um, maybe, okay, or we could do, I have this little number two. Let's see how it looks. I play with it. Mm, not quite my flavor. Let's try this one. That one's kind of cool. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. But then I, I know one more thing I'll do. But we'll do it at the end because I can't do it right this second. And I'm going to ink this one up as well. Okay. Do, do, do. Give it just some aged look. There we go, perfect. Just like that. So now I'm gonna glue it right down here. Okay. Just put a little bit of glue, nothing crazy. And then we're just gonna glue this down. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second. Super cute, look at that. Okay, okay, my dog needs to um, leave the room, so I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Um, so I did also grab what I was talking about to add to this at the end. I think I wanna add like one to two of these little Nouveau uh, glitter drops. Basically, they're like stickles. So, here, let me show you. So, it's just like glitter. There you go. It's just glitter. Um, so, let me wipe that off really quick. Okay. So, now that we have these two, we're going to go ahead and do the hardware part of it, which is um, putting the clasp on as well as putting on our charm. So let's pick out our charms first because, you know, that's that's the fun part. Okay, so I think I have this little cute charm. It's a little, um, I don't even know what it is, but a little leaf or something. I thought that one might be cute. I also have this butterfly charm, which would be super big and fabulous. So maybe we'll do butterfly. And I also have these little kind of bead charms. This one could be cute too for the, ooh, I kind of like that more. Okay, so I think for this one, we'll do this one like that. And then for this one, we'll do, let's see. That one's a little too big, I feel like. 
I could do this little pink one. Um, I kind of like the pink one, but I just wish it was a little bigger. Just randomly. Okay, no. Um, okay, so let's do butterfly. All right. So for this one, I think that'll be fine. There's just like a middle... Oh, there's two. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. There's like an extra link in here. I can't tell which one's the better link. What is the weakest link? So what I do, I am not a jewelry expert by any means, but I, if I'm trying to open a um, jump ring or something, I take one side and I hold it. So I'm just holding it, holding the one that I wanna open. And then I take the other side and I just turn them opposite ways. Um, and that gets that gets it uh, open. You can see that just fine. So, okay, so now I don't have that extra one. I just have one little jump ring, which is what I needed. And I'm gonna take, I have three different sizes of jump rings. I probably won't use the small size unless I absolutely have to because it's harder for me to see. Um, and we'll see if we can do a medium one for, well, actually, we'll do a large one because I'm going to put some, um, some sort of cute fabric or something on it. So that way it'll be easier to hold the fabric too. Okay, so jump ring. So I'm just going to hold the jump ring with one of my pliers. I'm sure you could hold it with your hand too, but I don't know. This just feels right to me. It's probably not. Um, and then the top little opening piece is right there. So I'm just going to take my other side and then just turn it. And you don't want to turn it too much. See how it's kind of like a kind of turn? It's not like that turn. Um, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little jump ring chain link thing in there. Okay, so that one's in. So there we go, we have it on there. And then I'm gonna take this and put it on the bottom part because I want it to hang off of the bottom. So there we go, that's on there. Yeah. So now that they're both on there, I'm gonna do the same thing and grab the other side and then I'm just going to twist back to close up my jump ring. So now I have I have a cute little charm or tassel um, or charm. I guess it's a charm. It's not a tassel, but you know, I have cute. I have a cute little dangly thing. <laughs> That's what it is. OK. So I'm gonna use one of these little clasps that I have and same thing, I'm gonna use a jump ring, but this time I'm gonna use these little medium sized jump rings. One, because I'm low on the big ones, but um, two, I don't really need the opening to be that big. So, so same thing, I'm gonna grasp my, um, I'm gonna grasp my jump ring in one of my pliers and then the other one, I'm going to actually do the twisting motion with. Every time I say grasp, I think of SpongeBob. I don't know if anyone watches that, but there, there's an episode that just makes me laugh so hard. Um, so anyways, random thought. Uh, so now I'm just going to turn it just a little bit. Like I said, you don't need a lot. And I'm not very good at jewelry stuff, so, you know. Don't, don't throw a lot of shade in the comments. Okay, so there we go. I put the um, little charm on there. And now I'm going to put this on there on the same jump ring. Okay, and I might actually have to open it a little more for that because it's thicker. Okay. All right, so now they're both on there. You can't see it, but they're both on there. And now I'm just going to take it and twist back. Perfect. And so now 
we have an adorable little charm. Look at how cute it is, but we're not done. We still have to put the lace on. So we'll do that after we do the other one. So same thing, let's get our big jump ring. Okay. And then this one actually has a jump ring on it already. I'm gonna take it off though, because um, it looks a little wonky. Oh, that just came right off. Okay, so let's take our jump ring and we're gonna take our other plier and just gently turn till it's slightly open. Okay, first goes on your charm, then goes on the bottom piece whatever the charm's gonna hang off of that side. Um, go ahead and then same thing. They're both on there. One to hold, one plier to hold, the other plier to turn back um, until the jump ring is closed. So there we go. We have a cute little butterfly charm. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Okay, and then I get really excited. <laughs> it doesn't take much. Um, and then we have another little clasp here. And then where did my medium over there? And I would recommend just whatever side you want to put your lace or, you know, um, your lace or your trim, whatever you're going to do, like for the accent piece, if you are going to do that, put the bigger jump ring, um, on that side, because I usually just thread my lace or my trim through the bigger jump ring. Um, since it can kind of hold more. So that's my tip and you'll see what I mean. Um, okay, so same thing. Just gonna twist it to open a little bit. Okay, so I twisted it to open. First thing goes on is my cute little charm or journal tassel thing. Journal charm, there we go, <laughs> journal charm. Um, and then it goes on my clasp. Okay, just like that. And then now that they're both on there, I'm just going to take my pliers and twist it back just like that. And then we have another super, super cute charm, but we're not done. Let's go ahead and finish these off here. Um, and we're going to finish them off with just a little bit of lace. Like I said, I have this cute lace trim. Um, I'm just gonna cut off a little section. I do not need much. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I cut off a little section here. And so looking at my charm, I have a smaller jump ring up here and then a bigger jump ring down here. So I'm gonna tie my trim onto this bigger jump ring. Um, and the way I like to do it, um, you can do a bow if you'd like, but I go like this, I make a little loop um, and I'm holding the edges and then you take your trim and I'll kind of fold it up so it fits through the jump ring and you put it through the jump ring here. Okay. Just like that. And then you, so now you have it on both kind of sides. This is the ends and this is the little loop. So then you take your ends, put it through your loop and then you pull, okay? And be gentle, you don't have to pull super hard. But you pull, and then you just kind of situate it, um, you know, because also you have these little danglies on here. So I'm just gonna kind of situate it here to where it looks kind of cute. And so now you have an adorable little charm. And let me, hang on, I just wanna, show that or I'm attempting to show that and it's not working out too well okay I'm just trying to get it there we go so now you have this super super cute charm look at how cute it is you can cut these to make them shorter if you'd like I kind of like it long I think it looks super cute but that's the first one so we did that one together very, very cute. Kind of just display that one proudly. Um, and then this is the second one. So let's add some trim again. And I'm just gonna add the same um, one. Why not? 
that's what I have available. My trim's all the way on the other side. So we're going to use this. Um, okay. And then another way that you can do it if you would like. So you can take it and just take one end and then put it through the charm or the little jump ring, the big jump ring right there. Okay. And then you can take it and you could tie a bow. You can just do like a knot. That's totally fine too. So like if I just did a little knot right there. So then you have, there we go. So if that will work. And then I'm gonna actually cut it really short, I think. Okay, sorry, I was cutting that. So I just cut it kind of short. So there we go. We have this adorable, cute little butterfly. You kind of have to fidget with it for a second, but once it gets its, you know, little flare right, then it's good. Okay. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna cut this one just a little more because I cut that other one. Just a smidge short. Okay. There we go. So, so cute. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I just have to mess with that a little more, but you know. So very, very cute. So we have these two that we made. Very, very proud of them. Kind of scoot everything out of the way. Y'all can see that. So cute. So yeah, um, they're super easy to make. They're very, very fun to make, um, especially if you like to make small things. Um, so definitely give them a try. I hope you do. If you do, send me a message or something. I don't know. I don't know how you contact me, but you know, um, I do. I hope you give them a try because these are so fun to make. So, so very fun. Okay. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all of uh, my new subbies and thank you for everyone who has been here since day one. Um, I do appreciate all the love and support um, and I love just being a part of the community with you guys. Um, so until the next one, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.